Hello, hello guys. Welcome again to my channel and today I'm hosting the lucky mom Debra Nyanchoka, the trending lady from Saudi Arabia. Dalala. Leo mmefikiwa. Dalala mambo? Ama wewe si Dalala. <laughs> so anyway, mam Depra karibu sana. Ningependa kwa mtazamaji ambaye akujui uweze kumuelezea wewe ni nani angalau tuweze kuchapa story. Okay. Uh, hi guys, my name is Delak Mam Debra Nyanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. I come from Nyamira County. Mm -hmm. uh, West Mugrango constituency. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Mam Depro, my summer when he exes Saudi maid. Bono mm. to me, I was managed, and they made in Mbaya. Apana. Uh. Si maid in Akachapula Kwameza Kwan. Uh. Yeah. So you don't care about maid? Yeah, I'm a proud maid. Come upon Engine and Zito and Isaac and Zia. Eh, Audiali. Now, Depro and Independent to purchase to the Afupi, we will talk a Kenya, Mefika Pale Gulf. <laughs> Alafu ndio watu wengi wasoma. Angalau kuna watazamaji wako hapa nje mara mingi hizi vitu za Saudi hawaelewi. Lakini tunapowaleta hivi kwa mjadala wanaweza kuelewa zaidi. Okay. Mhm. Mm uh, ah sana Stephen kwa kuni host. Karibu. Uh, na na nataka kuambia watu kwanza kuenda Saudi Arabia is a personal choice. Mm -hmm. Ni mtu anaamua, kuna mtu analazimisha mtu ile shida inakufinya ndio unaamua kuenda. Mhm. Mm uh, just uh, like the lucky mom kesi yangu ni tofauti mimi niliamua kwenda Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. after kuhaso hapa Kenya uh, mimi ni, nimemaliza university by the way mm -hmm. university 2014 nilikuwa mm -hmm. nasoma Moi University main campus mm -hmm. uh, nilikuwa nimefanya accounting na bachelor of science in entrepreneurship sasa kuna kila mtu anajua tu ukimaliza tu maybe shule maybe this week next week uko job yeah. sasa ni, najua kuna wenye wanafikiria hivyo mm -hmm. kama mimi hiyo time nilikuwa nafikiria hivyo 2014 mm -hmm. but nili hustle uh, karibu 6 years without a job well sasa nikasema ai mtu akaniambia maybe ukienda Saudi Arabia wewe waachana na mambo ya papers kwanza weka papers mm -hmm. tafuta pesa mm -hmm. then sasa nikaamua kwenda Saudi Arabia for green pastures mm -hmm. yeah 2020 2020 mm -hmm. so uli contract yeah, ni mazao contract hata nikaongeza miezi miwili. Mhm. Mm mm. Nao ningependa sasa tufuatilie pale Saudi, ushatoka Kenya, mm. pale Saudi kwa nyumba ulipokuwa unafanya kazi. Je, tueleze wengi wanasema huwa mnateswa. Wewe pinafsi katika ile harakati ya kufanya kazi, kuna mateso ulipitia? Yeah, hapo sasa ita depend. Kila mtu akona mateso yake ya kila aina. Mhm. Mm uh, the fact kuwa Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia huwa ni kazi ni nyingi. Mm -hmm. Wote tuseme tu yani watu wamejumuisha wa kazi mingi kuita mateso. Mm -hmm. Watu waelewe tu kuwa kazi ni mingi yenye mwili wetu haiko inazoea. Mm -hmm. So mimi mimi pinafsi mimi niliingia kwa Palace, nilikuwa nafanya kwa King. Na hapo ni kulikuwa na kazi mingi sana. Kulikuwa watu kumi, na mimi ni kumi na moja, watoto eight, mama, baba na mimi ni kumi na moja. Mm -hmm. So kazi ilikuwa nyingi. Hiyo ndio kitu naweza sema mara ya kwanza. So mimi si kwa nimezoea kazi mingi hivyo at least hauwezi pumzika. Mm -hmm. Unaona unafanya kazi mimi tulikuwa tumeendua kutoka Kenya ni 8 hours kufika pale nafanya 18 hours. Mm -hmm. So hiyo 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 kidogo utaiona kama ni mateso kwa sababu sio kitu yenye ulikuwa psychologically prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wewe umesema umefanyia kazi king yeah, the yeah. king of Saudi. Yeah, the mom. Eh, hey, uliona mm -hmm. jisikia si ulifika pale ukaona ni kama oh my god I never thought in my life that maybe nitakaripia king vitu kama hizo. Mm -hmm. Lakini mimi nilichukua hata one month ndio kujua nilikuwa nafanya kwa palace. Mhm. Mm Ju hakuna mtu atakwambia. Mhm. Mm Ju ni wewe mwenyewe wewe utakuja kuona kuna wakati nilipeleka chakula mahali wana wanakulia wana hapo chini. Mm -hmm. Wale wazee wanakaa ndio nikaona hiyo Nini yao inakuanga hii ya... Sijui, hiyo muti yenye inakanga kwa pesa yao. Sijui hii ya... Uh, ata mi sijui. Uijui? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Mutatuambia hiyo <laughs> muti ni gani? Hiyo muti ni gani, inakuanga kwa hiyo pesa. Uh -huh. mm. Apo ndio uliona kwa hiyo nyumba. Ya, yeah, sasa nikashanga mbona hii ni sofauti na zingine. Mm -hmm. Akini sasa hiyo mama kakujua kaniambia by, by the way, inafaa kufanyi usafi ni kumbuke hii ni palace. Mm -hmm. Alianza kuniambia ni palace after one month. Mm -hmm. Juhu, sasa hiyo, hiyo, hiyo kiti ya bendera, bendera yao. Mm -hmm. Kuna muti wanaikanga hapo mm -hmm. ya bendera. Mm -hmm. Diyo nilikuja kuona, nikajua kumbuke be hii ni pale sasa kama huyu mama anasema nilikuwa nafikiria saa zingine ni kujichacha tu mm -hmm. lakini akaniambia this is a palace kitu wote kifanyia ambia remember this is a palace mm -hmm. you need to be clean sasa mm -hmm. kama hujafanya vizuri anakurudisha mm -hmm. urudie mm -hmm. so ndio nikaanza kuona kumbe 
hapa sio mahali pa mchezo mm-hmm. so nikaanza kuona pia hata ile mavazi yao ilikuwa ni tofauti na wenye nilikuwa naona maybe kwa mtandao wow amazing now ulimaliza contract ukarudi Kenya ukasema utaki kurudi hivyo ama what happened hapana mimi plan yangu haikuwa niende niende kabisa mm-hmm. because kila mtu anakuanga na plan yake mm-hmm. hiyo time nilikuwa chini na nilitaka kuinua familia yangu in a way mm-hmm. eh, bure singeenda Saudi Arabia because tuseme i had a brother mm-hmm. ambaye alikuwa ni breadwinner mm-hmm. and my dad was also there mm-hmm. but wakati walikufa at the same time karibu the same time mm-hmm. ikawa ni mimi tu nimebaki kama matumaini mm-hmm. kama tumaini la familia mm-hmm na sasa nikaona lazima nijitume at least i make a difference mm-hmm. because watu walikuwa na de- uh, they were depending on me mm-hmm. so nikasema afadhali nitafute ile shortcut yenye itanisaidia mm-hmm. to put a smile on the faces of my family mm-hmm. yeah. so tuseme hiyo wakati wote ulifanya walikuwa wanakutreat tu vizuri wacha niseme 50% ilikuwa sawa na mm-hmm. 50% ilikuwa haikuwa haikuwa nzuri mm. anyway now depra pale umetrend juu ya mara mingi kuongelelea dalala Ningependa tuongelele kuna watu nikiangalia comment section wanakuliza we Depla dalala ni nini unajua up to now watu hawajaielewa je dalala na kimboi ni watu wawili semu ama ni vitu viwili tofauti ah, That is a nice question by the way mm-hmm. Dalala na kimboi kimboi is an adva- uh, dalala is an advanced kimboi mm-hmm. tuseme mm-hmm. What, watu wote wametoroka mm-hmm kwa bosses wao watu mm-hmm. wametoroka kwa bosses wao mm-hmm. hawana papers mm-hmm. lakini dalala ako na nguvu kushinda kimboi mm-hmm. eh yeah. mm-hmm. so tuseme hivi voi imezidi lewa au dalala ni binadamu kwanza ama ni nini yeah, ama yeah. kimboi ni huyu anakimbianga mm-hmm. kimboi ni jina lenye wanatumia tuseme tu imetoka tu kutoka Kenya kwa wakimbiaji mm-hmm. wanaelewa so mm-hmm. hilo ni jina tu la utani watu wanatumia wale wasana ambao wanatoroka kwa bosses wao mm-hmm ukitoroka kwa bosses wako na hujashikwa wewe umekemboi zaidi kwa hivyo umeenda sana hujashikwa mm-hmm. but hauna papers mm-hmm. dalala pia na, na ye, once, she was once a maid anaweza kuwa dalala mara mbili kuna dalala anaweza kuwa alipatana na mwanaume kwa mtandao alikuwa maid akapatana na mwanaume kwa mtandao akamkujia pale pa kazi akamchukua hivyo mm-hmm. so akiwa dalala kwa kwa Kiarabu ni dalali mm-hmm. lakini sasa mimi kama mimi mkisi mkenya naongea dalala mm-hmm. eh, watu wataelewa mm-hmm. so kuna mwenye alichukuliwa na mwanaume kutoka kwa kazi akaenda akamweka kwa nyumba mm-hmm. kwa hivyo sasa akamooa tuse in quotes watu wakubaliwi kuoana Saudi Arabia hivi ai foreigners working there so akamooa in quotes akamweka kwa nyumba yake kwa hivyo amemiliki nyumba amekuwa mwenye nyumba mm-hmm. so ndio anaitwa dalala hasa yeye anaweza ku host kemboi unajua kemboi akitoroka ana mahali pa kutorokea mm-hmm. anaweza torokea kwa dalala sasa dalala ana host kemboi lakini wote hawana papers mm-hmm. yeah. wote hawana papers mm. so huyu mm. dalala umesema amekaa kama mtu ameolewa mm. so hapo hivyo na yeye pia anafanya biashara zingine eh, sasa huyu dalala huwa anafungua ana anaweza fungua biuro mm-hmm. kama hapa Kenya kuna biuro za kuuza wasichana kwa kazi mm-hmm. kazi za nyumba mm-hmm. anaweza fungua biuro ama brothel mm-hmm. brothel ni ile ya kufungua kama umalaya mm-hmm. anauza wa, 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 wanawake hao wenye ameleta makemboi kwa wanaume wenye wanafanya kazi hapo foreigners mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio kazi ya dalala hiyo ndio kazi ya dalala Aha. na kuna wenye wanaenda kufanya kazi pia madalala wengine mm-hmm. sasa wewe kama mam depra do you advocate for dalalas I don't advocate for that because they are illegal immigrants. Mm-hmm. Unajua uki, ukienda kwa inchi ya wenyewe uwezi geuza sheria. Mm-hmm. Ukiweka sheria mikononi mwako wewe utaumia. Mm-hmm. Uh, na ukishaumia unaletea familia yako shida. Mm-hmm. Ju nikisema kwa wale watazamaji ambao wananiangalia ukisikia mtu amekufia Saudi Arabia, wanataka 1.2 million, wanataka wanataka 2 million. Huyo mtu alikuwa dalala ama kimboi. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu uki, kama in case umekufa na uko kwa bosi wako utakuwa rais kukua trust mm-hmm. na hakuna kitu utalipa bosi wako atakuleta mpaka Jomo Kenyatta kama ni Kenya mm-hmm. atakurudisha kwa inchi yako rahisi mm-hmm. lakini kama ni dalala ama kimboi itakuwa ngumu familia yako ndio itashughulika so ukisikia tu mtu anasema msichana wangu alikufia Saudi Arabia wanataka pesa fulani mm-hmm. jua tu akuwa kwa kazi alikuwa ametoroka wacha yeah. aha yeah. wengi wametoroka wengi wametoroka ukisikia mtu anachangiwa huyu alikuwa ametoroka mm, kwa sababu ule bosi wako amekuchukua atafuatwa aha ili kesi asipoku kurudisha aha lakini sasa kama ulitoroka inakuwa vigumu sana ku stress hata bosi wako mhm mm. wow finally at least tumeelewa dalala na kimboi nao mam depora wewe wewe sasa ulikaa mm. miaka mbili ni penevitsi gani ulipatana yani uko yani 
ni vitu vigani unaweza tuambia kama mamlaki nyanchoka nimefanya kutokana na kazi ya mikono yangu ya Saudi Arabia. Mm. Juma mara mingi tunaona wengi wanasema hawajafanya anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Siwezi sema sijafanya kitu kwa sababu ikiwa kama hujafanya bado utazidi kufanya juu uko sawa. Mm -hmm. e, uko na mikono utazidi kufanya. Mm -hmm. Personally mimi I used to, to pay school fees for my kids mm -hmm. na pia nilikuwa nasaidia familia yangu 1 2 3 mm -hmm. but nilitaka ku, ku invest in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm. Kuna kitu yenye nilifanya Saudi Arabia ambayo kwa sababu kama sio Saudi Arabia pia singeifanya mm -hmm. iliandika vitabu. Wow. Yeah. Uko na vitabu? Uko na vitabu. Aha. Uh -huh. Sasa unaongea na other. Hata <laughs> <laughs> nimeshtuka my friend. Eh? Yeah. So you people wait. So you mean like uh, Saudi Arabia inaweza toa products ambazo zi, ni others? Zaidi. Watu wakifika See. Saudi wanajigundua. Aha. Uh Hebu -huh. yeah. tutapia hapo sasa hiyo <laughs> story. So, mm -hmm. uh, nataka kusema kuwa ikiwa pale Saudi Arabia kuna vile nilikuwa naona watu wanateseka mm -hmm. juu pale nilikuwa nafanya kwa pale kuna wale African maids walikuwa nakuja na kesesi zao pale mm -hmm. na nazisikia kutoka kwa madamu ilikuwa hivi ilikuwa hivi mm -hmm. kuna watu nilikuwa naona yale yenye wanapitia mm -hmm. so nikasema yenyewe kama kuna kitu naweza fanya maybe i can just do kama documentary hivi mm -hmm. at least ni sitaweza kukumbuka zote ile yenye ina happen ni inaandika mm -hmm. kama memories tu lakini nilikuja ku realize baadaye i can write a book mm -hmm. yenye inaweza saidia wale watu wengine maybe wenye wanataka wanatamani kuenda gulf ama wenye wanataka kujua zaidi uh, kuhusu middle east mm -hmm. so lakini kabla nianze kuandika vitabu nilipitia nilipitia pitia tu shida mm -hmm. e, nilimkwambia 50 ilikuwa nzuri kwangu na 50 ilikuwa mbaya mm -hmm. so through zile challenges nilikuwa napitia nikaona kuwa Mungu ananipenda na nikasema my life alone is uh, is a book mm -hmm. mm. yeah so kuna kama mimi ukiniona hivi i survived the death two times nikiwa pale kwa hiyo nyumba hapo kwa palace mm -hmm. lakini juu Mungu ananipenda na ndio na, i'm just testifying because i'm already back mm -hmm. The first incident uh, nilikuwa nimeacha na mtoto wa boss wangu alikuwa na covid hawakuniambia mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they kept a secret it as a secret from me mm -hmm. so wakaenda wakaenda hizo two weeks za quarantine hawakuniambia sasa mm -hmm. kurudi niliona mm -hmm. wanasherekea mm -hmm. unajua mimi sikuwa naelewa kiarabu ilikuwa the first three months zile nilikuwa nimeingia pale mm -hmm. so nikaona wana celebrate kuwa mtoto wao amepona corona mm -hmm. and i was like si hata mimi mungeniambia juu niliacha na huyo mtoto nilikuwa namfanyia everything so after two weeks naona ile room yenye alikuwa analalia watu wamekuja wale wenye wamevaa mm -hmm. vitu za covid wenye wana spray uh. wana spray wana spray alafu wanachukua zile vitu zote zo, zake zote zikapelekwa mm -hmm. unaona so nikashangaa na hii nyumba nimekuwa nikikaa two weeks alafu si kuambiwa lolote mm -hmm. unaona hasa wakasema huyo huyo mtoto wao amepona nikaona ni kama Mungu ananipenda tu juu mimi mm -hmm. siku kwa hata kukohoa siku pewa hata mask siku pewa ni siku ambiwa ni angalie precautions mm -hmm. so nikaona ni kama ni mipango tu ya Mungu wow. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so hapo nikaona wacha tu nikae juu singeweza kwenda kwa nyumba nyingine juu hiyo covid ilikuwa imejaa kila mahali watu wanakufa mm -hmm. So mimi nikavumilia kwa hiyo nyumba mpaka mm -hmm. the 18th month. Mm -hmm. 18th month pia nikapitia changamoto. Mhm. Mm Ndio nilikuwa nagonjeka gonjeka hapa bado ndio kawaida mm -hmm. lakini hiyo time nikakuwa niko mgonjwa sana. Mm -hmm. Nika nikaambia nika boss wangu anipeleke hospitali. Mm -hmm. Lakini alikuwa anani ignore. Mm -hmm. By the Saudi Arabia watu wanafaa kujua ukigonjeka. Mhm. Mm Wanasema unajifanya. So they don't believe if you are sick. Mm -hmm. Sasa hiyo siku boss wangu uh, mimi siku anakubaliwa kutoka na simu nje ya room yangu. Mm -hmm. Lakini hiyo siku nikasema leo nitaenda kwa cho ndio naweza funga. Juu kwa room yangu haikuwa na lock. Mm -hmm. So nikachukua simu yangu nikakuwa makwa hapa tu hapa kwa kajuala. Kajuala hapo sio nini? Mm -hmm. Sio illegal kama hapa Kenya. Mm -hmm. So nikaenda pale kwa bafu nilikuwa nataka kwenda kupiga simu. Mm -hmm. Nipigie agent wangu wa Kenya nimwambie yeye niko mgonjo na boss wangu amekataa kunipeleka usi. Mm -hmm. Sasa kufika pale nikapata kuna mtoto alikuwa ananawa mikono nikashindwa ku make call. Mm -hmm. Asa ule mtoto aka akani confuse. Sasa hapo nilianguka. Sikujua what next lakini nilisikia huyo mtoto anaitana. Mm -hmm. Akita mama yake anamwambia nimeanguka. Sasa anamwambia shagala nimeanguka. Mhm. Mm mama alichukua muda kukuja. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa pale chini lakini naweza kusikia but siwezi kusimama. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa nimelemewa kabisa. Mm -hmm. So huyo mama alichukua muda karibu tu hawa hivi ndio akakuja. Mm -hmm so kukuja saa zile mimi nafikiria tu sasa nitaokolewa akachukua tu maji kwa ndoa alikuwa anateka tu kwa tap Ali, alitaka tu ndoa tatu hivi ananimwagia kwa kichwa 
Wewe? Yaani ananimwagia tu nikasema tu mimi kuisha. Ah. Sasa yeye akani bila mmeanza kunimwagia akalock. Aka akalock aka kabisa akaenda. Sasa unajua sasa ndio unasema tu Mungu ni mkuu. Wewe? Mimi niko na simu yangu pale na ajui kama niko na simu. Mm-hmm. Yeye amenifungia ameenda. Mm-hmm. So amenifungia ameenda kabisa. Nimekuja kukua conscious karibu midnight. Mm. Lakini niko very weak. Na nikasema si niko na simu yangu hapa. Na kwambia tu Mungu aliniokoa hiyo siku. Mm-hmm. So hiyo simu yangu vile nilitoa nika nikaweka WhatsApp clip, nika make a voice clip, nikatumia agent wangu wa Kenya nikamwambia anahitaji medical attention. Boss wangu amenilokia kwa choo na amenimwagia maji. Mm-hmm. So kwa bahati nzuri agent wangu akapokea hiyo clip, akapigia simu ya Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Akapigia agent ya Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia ika, ikaenda kupigia huyo king. Mm-hmm. Sasa huyo king tusema alikuwa anakaa Riyadh na sisi tunakaa Damam. Mm-hmm. Bila unaweza kaa Nyamira na na gavana wake anakaa Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Sasa kupigiwa tu akashtuka ati atishagala wake yako na shida. Mm-hmm. So huyo 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 king akapigia bibi yake. Sasa bibi yake ndiye akaogopa akajua hii kitu imejulikana aje. Mm-hmm. Wakanipeleka hospitali. Mm-hmm. So nimepeleka hospitali ndio bado niko na simu yangu hawajui kama nimebeba. Mm-hmm ndio nikaenda kuchukua hizo picha zenye unaona zina trend kwa mtandao saa zingine niko nimekewa maji pale kwa hospitali mm-hmm. so after kurudi kutoka kwa hospitali sikuenda kumwambia because nilikuwa nimepakisha 6 months ndio ni nimalize okay. contract mm-hmm. so sikuenda kumwambia ati nataka kurudi kwa ofisi nataka kufanya kitu yote nikanyamanza kama hakuna kitu imefanyika mm-hmm. so nikanyamanza hawakuenda kunielewa mm-hmm. so luckily kuna hapo previously kuna videos nilikuwa nafanya youtube za content inaitwa narcissism mm-hmm. kuna wale watu wanapenda ku control watu mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na youtube channel nikiwa kwa hiyo nyumba mm-hmm. so there is one one client wangu mwenye alikuwa anapenda hiyo content sana mm-hmm. alikuwa amenunulia laptop mm-hmm. kwa amazon mm-hmm. alinunuanga online mm-hmm. nikampea location akatuma penye nilikuwa nafanya kazi mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na laptop na ikuwa na kazi mm-hmm. so after hospitali nikaanza kukua mbaya Mhm. Juu sasa siongei na mtu mm-hmm. na siwaambi plans zangu. Mm-hmm. Nikawa nikifanya kazi yangu nikimaliza najifanya kama wazimu. Nafanya kazi yangu haraka haraka nikimaliza naenda nakaa kwa room yangu. Sasa unajua hizi ni fadha juu nimemaliza kazi. Sasa hiyo six the last six months nikao awanielewe pia mimi siwaelewe juu siku nataka kuwafuatilia. Juu nikaona huyu mama alikuwa ni uwe so sina biashara na yeye. Wacha nifanye kazi yangu. Unaona? Juu mimi alikuwa anangoja nitamwambia nataka kuenda Kenya. Mm-hmm. So nika ndio nilianza ku create time nikasema my life is a story mm-hmm. so nik, ndio nikaandika my first book the life of a covered star Iyo, the ni, life of a covered star yeah. uh-huh. what does it mean ni swahili uh, maisha ya nyota ambayo imefunikwa okay great <laughs> so, one uh-huh. nikaona nyewe i'm a star mm-hmm. and my life has been covered mm-hmm. nimepitia mingi lakini Mungu ameniokoa mm-hmm. so nikatengeneza hiyo kitabu inaitwa the life of a covered star nikaiandika within around ki, karibu 2 months mhm nilikuwa naiandika sasa nilicreate time yangu sasa sikuwa nafuatilia zile sheria za kitamba at 18 hours hata sifanyi kazi 18 hours nikimaza mm-hmm. kazi yangu ni hivyo naenda kwa room yangu mm-hmm. so nikaanza ku type hiyo kitabu nikiwa na hizo hasira mhm nikamaliza 2 months nikamaliza sasa nikaanza nikaanza ku, kuangalia tutorials youtube mm-hmm. how to edit everything nika edit nikamaliza hiyo kitabu ikakuwa sawa mhm nika nikaiacha nika hapo sasa nikaanza ingine nika, nika sema, as much as nimekaa hapa Saudi Arabia na nimeona kuna watu wanapitia shida let me highlight the challenges people go through in the middle east mm-hmm. yote mm-hmm. so ndio nikaandika kitabu yangu ya pili inaitwa the life of uh, the untold modern slavery in the middle east mm-hmm. so the what would you there is this suffering people go through but nobody talks about it mm-hmm. so nikaandika hiyo kitabu yangu ya pili the untold modern slavery in the middle east mm-hmm. sasa unaona siku zinakimbia sasa mm-hmm. nimemaliza na tena 2 months nimemaliza sasa nimebakisha tena miezi miwili ndio nitoke sasa huko mhm juu nilikuwa nimebakisha 6 months sasa nikaanza nikaona tena ni kama nataka niongezwe tu siku mingi mm-hmm. niendelee na kazi yenye sijamaliza mm-hmm. but finally nilimaliza hizo vitabu mm-hmm. nikaona vile ni, ni, ni zitawekwa nikaziweka kwa zikakuwa published mm-hmm. nikazi publish tu online nikaziweka kwa amazon mm-hmm. So hizo vitabu ziko live on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Maybe mtu akitaka ku, kusoma kuna mwenye wanijui sana. Mm-hmm. If you want to know more about the Luck Mom, 
you mm -hmm. can go to Amazon, KDB Amazon, mm -hmm. the ebook, the soft copy, you can read it from your phone, mm -hmm. computer, anywhere. Mm -hmm. You search the life of a covered star by the Debra Kim Tonyanchoka, mm -hmm. Tayona. Mm -hmm. They are told modern slavery in the Middle East to Tayona Apple Amazon, but mm -hmm. you have to pay, then you read. How much? Uh, the life of a covered star is uh, it's nine dollars. Nine dollars. Yeah. And the other one, the other modern one is, slavery. The untold modern untold, slavery yeah. in the Middle East is uh -huh. eight dollars. Una lipia hiyo yote unasoma mpaka unaimaliza. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you want to download it you can download it after paying. Uh -huh. after yeah. paying. Hakuna yeah. mambo eti oh nisome ndio nilipe. Ah ah. Ah utafunguliwa. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So it depends on pages zenye unasoma. Uh -huh. But uh, soon nitatoa hard copies so uh -huh. that I'll be able to to sell. To to sell. Uh -huh. To the fans when you want to come people want to know more about the luck mom. Uh -huh. More about the Middle East how to secure jobs in the Middle East. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, kumbe watu wanatokanga mbali sana. Yeah, people come from far. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, pale, how, how do you handle those people wenye wanakutusi na wanaanga wakikwambia, we unaongelelea dalala, nini kuna time walikuwa wanakutrol sana. Mm. How do you handle such a people? I like that. Mm -hmm. Because they fear me. And <laughs> 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 you like that? Yeah, because mtu akinitusi, then it means mm. there's something I have and they don't have. Mm -hmm. So they, their bitterness, they just pour on the wrong person. Mm -hmm. So I feel very happy. Mm -hmm. Na anajua kama ni mwashina. Because when it tusi, yeah. mtu mwanyajia kushinda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, do you even reply to their texts? Yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, because that is one way of dealing with trollers. Mm -hmm. You respond. Mm -hmm. Zingine una ignore. If you see they don't make sense, you just ignore. Mm -hmm. Lakini sana sana mi napenda kujibu na mm -hmm. zingine na ignore. Mm -hmm. Sikikuwa mingi I just ignore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Now, Depla, kuna watazamazi wako pale pengine wasiani especially unajua next year ni shule. Maybe kuna wazazi wameambia wasiani wawo wende Saudi ama Gulf. Uh, do you support yeah. them ama what's your take? Okay. Uh, my take on this is that uh, going to Saudi Arabia is a personal choice. Hiyo mtu wa siku sikume, ni we mwenye utamua, wacha niende ama niache. After uh, maybe umepitia hizi vitu tumefundisha, after umeenda through hizi training, umeona watu wanasema nini kuhusu Saudi Arabia, we uamwe we mwenye, I'm ready to go. But wale watoto wenye wanemaiza form 4, Saudi Arabia siyo yenu. Saudi Arabia inataka watu wenye wamechoka na maisha kwanza. Mtu wamechoka na maisha. Ya, mtu wameenda na Nairobi ya meishi, ya meshindo kulipa renta, hamefungia nyumba, hameenda kwa majirani, hamefukuzwa, huyo Saudi Arabia inamfit. Mtu mwenye ako na watoto shule, amekosa kulipa school fees, mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia ni yake. Mm -hmm. Anaweza, kwa sababu ataelewe yenye mempeleka pale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sio mtoto wa form 4, mwenye ataenda pale, haone watu wanadance TikTok, mm -hmm. asikie watu wanaenda kudance TikTok, mm -hmm. hapo watajichukia. Mm -hmm. So, inataka watu wenye wamekoma kiakili na wenye wamepitia mashida. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Depra, kuna swali ni ata nikuwa ni misahau. Inasemekana kwa mba wasichana wa gulfu wengi sana wanakuliwa pesa. Zewe, kuna kesis kama hizo umesikia? wanakuliwa na wanaume online wengi wanalia o oh, ni nimerudi Kenya kama sina pesa yeah. nilipatia mwanaume nimefika true. Kenya ameniepa it's true uh -huh. kuna wale wanaume wenye ni wazembe mhm uh -huh. siku hizi wameshajua wamefungua jobs mpya gulf uh -huh. wanajua tu wale wasiana nyako gulf uh, maybe mtu ya ni single mother uh -huh. anataka Anataka apart from kupata pesa pia anaweza taka kuolewa so anaingia kwa inbox yako. Hiyo inafanyika kwa watu wengi by the way. Mm -hmm. Mtu anakudanganya nitakuoa. Kwanza ukimwambia kuna watoto anaanza ku... anajulia watoto wako hali kila saa kwa sababu anajua that is your weakest point. Mm -hmm. So ukiona mtu mwenye ana, anakujalia watoto wako kama baba yao wajali. Mm -hmm. Si unaweza sema ume, umeangukia. Mm -hmm. So ukishaangukia ni hivyo basi. Mm -hmm. Watu wanatuma pesa ukifika Kenya mtu ameku-block mm -hmm. hata uwezi muona. Mm -hmm. Ni mesolve cases kama hizo mingi sana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People should be very careful. Wow, amazing. Tunaelekea kumaliza your advice to young generation. My advice, I just want to tell people that believe in yourself first. Mm -hmm. Usi ogope, mm -hmm. uh, okay. what was you judge? Mm -hmm. You are very unique, mm -hmm. you are created for a purpose. In case you die without fulfilling your purpose on earth, it will remain undone. Mm -hmm. So, ujue tu wewe, kuna hile kazi nye mungu walikuumba utafanya. Mm -hmm. Na ujiamini, kuna watu wanye wanapenda ku kudimini watu wengine paka mtu unamalizia unajidharau. Mm -hmm. So anataka kuambia watu usijidharau. Mm -hmm. You are very special and mm -hmm. you need a conducive environment to survive in. 
Wow, amazing. Yeah. Niko na maswali kama okay. mawili kama si tatu hivi. Tumalizie mm. kuna kitu moja ninge, ninge sahau, ninge kuwa nimekosea watazamaji sana. Mm. Ana, ninge pende uongele wale ma agent ya bao, wanafika pale, wana mm. dumb ladies, awajui, wana shugulikiwa. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, we have agents na tukona brokers. Ya, yeah, hapo sasa ni wataka uoeleze, waelewe zaidi. Okay. So, unajua ni vigumu sana kujua broker na agents mm -hmm. until umefika pale penye unaenda. Kuna kila mtu ukimwona na kupelea kwa ofisi unafikiria ni agent lakini sio agent. The final person ambaye ni agent ni hile office yenye itakutoa ikupeleke airport. Hiyo ndio agent. Ama hiyo ndio agents. Hawa wenye wanakupata hapa kwa barabara ni brokers. They have no powers. Watu wenye wakona powers ni watu wa agency. Na watu wajue tu ni vile uwezi jua the right agency. Lakini sasa unajua ukisha enda huko ndi utajua hile last ni likuanga agency. Lakini hapa inakuanga vigumu kidogo. Lakini ikiwa kama umeenda Saudi Arabia na ukona namba ya agent wako, tengeneza usiano mzuri na huyo agent first. Kwa sababu ni meona agent wengine wanasema, awa tupii, wakiwa na shida wanatupigia. Atufai kuwa pigia tena kwa sababu mukona clients wengi, you get new clients each day. Wakati wa shida ndio unakumbuka mtu. So, naambia tu watu, agents pia, ukipata agent mzuri, Agents, they have powers. Ukiwa na shida, akikisha umeeka namba ya agent wako. Ata uyo broker umeeka namba yake. Kwa sababu ukiwa na namba ya broker, ata trace agent. Ata kama wakikuja wakikosana hapa katikati ni uwe unaenda unaumia. So uwe wakikisha ukuna namba zao watu wote. Atuta kujua kama ni agent ama ni broker. In case ukiwa na shida, you can reach us out by the way. Unaiza nipata kwa The Lucky Mom, Debra Nyanchoka, ata kama ni Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, anywhere. So long as you can the luck mom, you can just inbox me. You can tell me who your agent is going to be able to do it. You can tell me who your agent is going to be able to do it. Because uh, they will not be ready to lose the, their name. Yeah. The name of their business. You will be ready to lose their name. The name of their business. You will be able to lose their name. So they will act. You know they have powers. Ukiongea kama mimi kesi yangu na sikia agent wangu wa Kenya ndi alipia ndi nikakuja kusaidiwa. Mm -hmm. Bure ni nge kufia Saudi Arabia. Unaona? Mm -hmm. So tusiogope ku, ku, kuongea. kuongea mm -hmm. Pia kuitisha msaada. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's use the right channel kutafuta msaada. Mm -hmm. Because ni miona kuna watu wengine. Uh, mutaniwia radhi kidogo. Kuna watu unapata mtu waishi Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe anaka Uganda tuseme. Mm -hmm. Unataka ndiyo wa kusaidie lakini ule mtu mi... Ni, we are bloggers. Let me say we are bloggers. Na umetua very sensitive information ukiwa kanyumba ya mwarabu. Unajua watu wakuna bloggers wako influential kabisa. So ukipatia na yu information na ujapata musaada. Hapo unajipata kwa shida. Unakikisha kwanza before upeane information kwa mtandao agent wako anajua ukuna shida. Usipeane shida yako kwa mtandao kabla ujambia agent. Na ukiona kupata agent ni shida, tafuta wale watu wenye wako Kenya ama ile country yenye huko. Ndiyo wanaweza trace huyo agent kwanza. Ndiyo wasolve case yako kabla ujaipeleka inchi zingine ni kuleta shida. Wow, amazing. Yani leo tumesoma. Siju mbona hii muda imetukalia. Very late. Unajua ha? Yani muda, muda guys imekataa, lakini tunamaliza, but uh, trust me, ita kutafta next time, mm -hmm. juu ya mfuo unawane miaribu hizi vitu, tuiongeleza. Tu, tu I think I feel like, bado sijamalizana na wena uh -huh. mambo ya Saudia. Uh -huh. So tutatenga muda, tukuje kuongea. Uh, but for now, swali la mwisho. But yao mingine tutakuja, munajua na kuanga na mwasuwa mingi sana. <laughs> ya mwisho. Okay. Kuna wasiana ni miona ata jana usiku kama. Sijui kama ulikuwa kwa life yangu. Kuna mtu aliandika aze mini kwa kwa posu wangu, ni mimaza contract, ataki ni kuje Kenya. Mtu kama huyo anafaa kufanya aze. Akiambia agent, agent ya washuliki. Agent, ndiyo tumepeana, tumesema agent, they have powers. Fikia the like mom, fikia wale watu unyo wako Kenya. Pati ya na namba ya agent, tumutafute. Akikata we record them without knowing. Nikiongea na agent lazima ni kue na kamera ingine kando ya kumusikiza na namuekanga loudspeaker. So tunamufuata kutoka hapo. Akikata tunamuanika kabisa because of taki agents wenye awajali maisha ya wengine. Wow, amazing. So, pale mtanda unajita aji, watu waneza shanga. Unajua utuneza kwa chongea, la 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 la, awajelewa vizuri. So, unajita the luck mom, you can see my brand is here, the luck mom Debra Nyanchoka, pale Facebook page, TikTok, the luck mom Debra Nyanchoka, any social platform, YouTube, the luck mom Debra Nyanchoka, ukinitafuta, utanipata na hizo stories of Dolph. Next time tutampata, Atueleze mbona na jikita the lucky mom. Juhu hiyo jina niko show hiko na uzito fulani. But for now, let this be part one. 
pati tu inakuja moto ambapo tuta, nataka tu yani tu, 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 ni kutipua ama ku, ni kuchambua. kutambua yeah. golf things ndio yeye anaelewa zaidi so that wale wasana wenye mnaniulizanga maswali um, i'm happy mlikuwa umeniambia ni mtafute lakini leo tumepatana so this one is part 2 uh, part 1 part 2 it's coming very soon for now and pale kwa channel yake before to mulete uweze kusoma zaidi the lucky mom depra Nyanchoka. Yeah. Debra, D E B unajisi tunaweza sema P ufikirie ni P police ni B baba. Debra yeah. Nyanchoka umsachi pale kwa social platforms angalau uweze kujua zaidi. Lakini kwa sasa hivi nasema asante sana tuonane party 2. Ah uh, thank you.